Through this black hole, Cooper escapes our universe brain and uses it as a bridge into hyperspace, essentially allowing him to enter the Tesseract, a region of space-time that extends from the singularity of the black hole into hyperspace. First of all, the back face of the Tesseract corresponds with Murphy's bedroom, so everything in her bedroom, including herself, is somehow inside the Tesseract's back face. And one particular moment in time could be observed in six different viewing angles. It might come from above, while also on the right side simultaneously. The second thing, we see that the bedroom has extrusions all around the Tesseract, with two directions transfers to Cooper's chamber. Let's look at a specific example to understand this better. Cross sections through the room that are vertical here travel upward with the passage of time. With the same notion, the cross section that are horizontal travel rightward as time passes. Essentially, this cross section depicts a different viewing angle of Murph's bedroom. Where the two extrusions intersect, there is a moment in the bedroom that you could observe its current present, an actual moment of time. This is where the movie defines it as, while extrusions are extending, time is flowing along them. Cooper has the ability to travel faster than the flow of time in the extrusions, allowing him to explore the Tesseract complex. In summary, this weird psychedelic vortex was merely our normal space-time, but with one temporal dimension or time manifested as an accessible spatial dimension.